Holy crap, we just got so much leaked COD information, and we probably got this in the weirdest way possible. We got some Modern Warfare 2 information, some weapons, some maps, kind of the look and feel of the game, and then we got stuff on COD 2024, the next Treyarch title coming out, obviously, in 2024. We got some screenshots that kind of give us the time period, some speculation stuff, and we know very little about this. Getting information this far ahead of time is kind of insane, so keep in mind that this information is so far ahead that these are from in-game files, meaning these are official assets from Activision themselves, meaning they are kind of official, even though they are leaks. The issue with it, when we get information this far ahead of time, they're probably just testing the waters with things. So everything we're gonna talk about in this video could be due to change at any point in time since it's not been officially revealed. Now, first let's go over where all these leaks are coming from. Everything we're gonna be talking about in this video came from Reality UK, a very notable leaker slash data miner. And everything he's talking about actually came from the in-game files from the Call of Duty Warzone mobile app on phones. Yes, all this data was just sitting in there, excess data, and it does kind of make sense because I think they're kind of merging everything together. Now they're having, obviously, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, everyone's working on the same engine, and I guess maybe part of that involves Warzone Mobile. I'm not really sure on that aspect, but I guess they just kind of kept a lot of the files in there. The, I, I kind of get the fact that there's Modern Warfare 2 files in there, but the fact that we're getting like gun names, some weapon names, and a bunch of other stuff for the next Treyarch game that we're still two years away from launching is absolutely ridiculous. So that's why there's some credence behind these leaks because these are taken from in-game files. We're not gonna be showing anything off in this video because since this is so far out, these are the types of leaks that they go heavily after. If I showed anything in this video, everything would be immediately DMCA'd. So I am gonna leave Reality UK's Twitter linked below, but once again, probably not going to be up for long because this is the kind of stuff that they go after heavily with DMCA. Now starting off with the first leak found in the code, we've got official Modern Warfare 2 weapon names. Some of these might be placeholder names whenever they first start developing a COD. Usually they'll copy over some weapons from a previous game just so they have some stuff to test out with. That's why usually in Treyarch games you'll find the M27 in the code with every single Treyarch game launched after Black Ops 2, but some of these are definitely new. For the first one we got a DMR, the LMS, sounds kind of cool. AR, we got the M4, which yeah, that could be a placeholder, but dude, being a modern Call of Duty, I'm almost positive it's gonna have the M4 and that's kind of a given. For shotguns, we got the Bryson 800. For an AR, we got the STG A3. For shotguns, we got the Lockwood 725, which uh, if you played Modern Warfare 2019 at launch, 725 has some uh, ringing in your head immediately as just kind of a iffy zone. When Modern 2019 launched, this was the pump or the double barrel shotgun that was extremely OP. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of that. Hopefully the 725 is not crazy good at launch if it is coming back. And since it has a unique name in front of it, the Lockwood 725, I, I think I think we're probably going to be seeing it. Then for our first pistol, we got the X12, which I think is a Glock. Yeah, there's an image here. It looks a lot like a Glock. We got another pistol. We got the Revive pistol which yeah might be some sort of thing we got smg we got the lackman sub for snipers we got the ax50 which appears to have a new model some of these actually have the icons with them already and this looks a little bit different than what it looked like in Marvel 2019 so it looks like the ax50 is coming back for lmgs we got the ral the or the ral mg which was one of the dlc weapons for modern War 2019 it actually came out last year i think it was the final dlc weapon to drop for modern War 2019 so that could be a placeholder uh for a pistol we got the 50 cal again, the 50 GS, which I'm, I'm glad. I love the 50 cal. That thing was a monster monster 2019. For SMGs, we got the PSDW50. Uh, for SMG, we got the second nine. Then we move into rocket launchers, and we got four of them, and they're the exact same ones we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. So unless they're just bringing back all four of these, these could just be placeholders. We got the RPG, the Pilla, the Joker, and the Strella, which I kind of hope there's not four rocket launchers. If you're a camo grinder, a game launching with four rockets is uh, is a little bit tedious. Modern Warfare 2019 launched with four. Vanguard launched with four. I kind of like Treyarch's method of launching with two because it definitely does make the camo grind a little bit easier. Uh, we got the LMP. 
SMG, and then we got the Bruin MK9 for an LMG, which that's another one that was also in Modern Warfare 2019. So that could be a placeholder or they could be bringing it back, but that ends all of the official Modern Warfare 2 weapon names. Honestly, some really cool stuff there. Love to see the pistol support. Love a ton of pistols. Love grinding those. The Lockwood 725 does scare me a little bit, but hopefully they realize that it, it was kind of ridiculous at the launch of Modern Warfare 2019, and they don't want to repeat that, hopefully. And next, let's go over the leaked maps for Modern Warfare 2. There are actually quite a few of these, and we've got loading screen images. They actually had the loading screens in the code for this. I'm not going to be able to show them off once again because of DMCA. Starting off, we've got Farm 18, which this map I'm not too excited about. It's kind of like a gray skybox with a little bit of green, kind of like your generic COD map. But the next one is where I got a little bit excited. This one, Swap Meet, it looks like it's in Mexico, but it's very bright very vibrant and that was one of the main issues i had with modern warfare 2019 all of the maps felt like that kind of grass green gray skybox like there wasn't a lot of colors and it got kind of boring it was just dreary maps which i think cold war did a very good job of this there's a lot of bright colors in a lot of the maps even vanguard's doing a better job with some of the maps coming out i don't really care about the layout but i just want maps that got more color to them i want to have kind of a different experience on each map where we didn't see that with the last title and it looks like they took that feedback because these loading screens look fantastic swap meets got kind of a red building a light blue building the skybox is nice and bright we got some cars in the street honestly looks pretty freaking sick then we've got a ground war map yes even the ground war map loading screens were in the code for this we got sierra i once again i'm probably gonna i'm not very good at pronouncing things this one kind of looks almost like a mall of some sorts it's got some blue got kind of a light blue skybox some palm trees we got Fishtown, which this one looks like Caldera. Like straight up, it's got some palm trees, but it's a lot brighter than normal Caldera. It's got like a nice blue skybox once again. Another ground war map. Then we've got one that a lot of people are talking about, the Grand Prix map. Uh, this one's like a racetrack, which honestly, I'm always down for some cool maps like that. Love to see stuff like that. Love to kind of just see some silly maps. Uh, a little bit darker of a skybox, but overall, it's still got some nice light colors. We got Oil Field, which reminds me of Outbreak. Like, this reminds me of one of the Outbreak maps with kind of the scaffolding along the side. Um, yeah, excited for that. Museum, very bright. Like, this is a very, like, that's the one thing I'm noticing going through all these. Most of these are very bright, colorful maps, which is definitely going to make it more enjoyable to play. Museum looks like a museum with a nice blue skybox. Uh, we got S-A-B-A, -A, which is like a statue with a horse in the middle. Not really too much to go off there. Then we don't have loading screens for these, but these were ones that were just named in the code. We've got Dogtown, Esports Gym, uh, Fallout, Favela, which there have been leaks of it coming, bro. I want Favela in this game so bad. Absolutely love Favela. I would love to see it in a modern game. COD Mobile just got Favela a few days ago, and I was having a blast with that. So like a new updated colorful version of Favela would be sick. There's one that says Firing Range, but I don't know if that's going to be the Treyarch version of Firing Range. I think they're actually trying to implement kind of like a test Firing Range zone like we saw in World War II. So that could be that. We got Floating Bay. We got Grand Prix. We got Kill House, which I would love to see Kill House back. One of the better maps that uh, Infinity Ward's ever made. We got Lighthouse, Luxury, Mountain Town, uh, Narcos, Oil Field. And the ones without loading screens, once again, they could just be temporary names. They could not make it at all. It's all stuff really, there's so much time before the game launches. This is all due to change. And then next, we actually have weapon names for Treyarch's next COD coming out in 2024. These are code names, so these aren't gonna be the actual names seen in game. We can get a little bit of information, but they're not gonna be as helpful as the other names. For ARs, we got the Coslo 723. We got the AK-74, which is probably gonna be the AK-74. Then we've got the Clove. For burst rifles, we got the Cheesy. For rocket launchers, we got the Pebble 3. For LMGs, we got the K sugar 58 for shotguns we got the Moslo 500 smgs we got the imparis 5 which reminds me of the caparis for another smg we got the stroger 3 for uh sniper rifles we got the u tiger and then we got the he chuck and then for uh pistols we got the stinger which is probably going to be a revolver like i said not super helpful so we're glossing over it but yeah there was actually the code name for weapons in these files as well and then finally probably the most interesting part out of all these leaks we got two images from cod 2024 i think from 
MP maps. They're just loading screens here, which give us a little bit of information on the setting, which we didn't know any of this prior. The first one's like a museum style map. Got a bunch of stuff going on. You can't get a lot of information. It's got like a chandelier. It's got a little bit of art. Obviously, there's people in the background. They came in through the wall. You can't really make out a time setting because it is a museum. Museums have stuff from all sorts of time period, which is a pretty cool setting. Love to see a map in that. The other picture is what gives us more information. It looks to be some sort of military base, and there is a plane off to the left, and I think this is some sort of Nighthawk. I don't know. People were theorizing. Apparently, this was made in like the early 1980s. So from what it looks like, and keep in mind the MP maps could be based off of any time period, this is probably going to take place a little bit after Cold War, probably in the 1990s, maybe the 1980s, right after Cold War ended. So it's going to be not really modern day, but just a little bit in the past. But uh, keep in mind, this could be completely just a generic asset that they had in there but it was labeled t10 which means this is going to be some sort of asset for the next Treyarch game in 2024 so who knows but uh it's starting to point in the direction that the next Treyarch title is going to take place shortly after cold war so this is probably going to be a sequel on to cold war where the events kind of carry over obviously there was no sorts of zombies leaks in any of this because this is just multiplayer assets and stuff this is probably the earliest we've ever seen a game leaked getting like actual information about this we're not going to be seeing information on the actual cod 2024 from a long time from now they're probably not even going to be promoing this like any point in time next year so it's really interesting seeing stuff this far out and this is not what i expected like cod mobile's in a beta state you've got to be invited to this so the fact that they left all these files is absolutely insane but with that we're going to go ahead and wrap this up let me know your opinions on any of the information we shared today if you left a like or a comment i appreciate it because it does help me out a ton and uh yeah getting closer and closer to the launch of modern warfare 2 every single day i'll see you guys in the next one peace